Are you talking to a camera again? Yeah. So we're back in the van after the suspension bridge and we're waiting for uh, the rest of our party. We're gonna go check out the ghost town of Wayne, which is an old coal mine town. And at one point it was a thriving town and then it went down to 60 residents and it has an old saloon and just like a, like a kind of an abandoned town, sort of tourist attraction. We're gonna go check that out now. Uh, one thing we noticed, Drumheller area has spotty cell coverage, so, and I think it's just because of all the hills. So we have been relying on ourselves to uh, keep in contact with the rest of our party and with each other. And there's been a few times where we've tried to call or text and it hasn't gone through because the coverage was not available at the se exact section we were in. This is the Last Chance Saloon. It's family friendly. This is what it looks like. You're not. <laughs> so things we've learned about the town or the hamlet, maybe, of Wayne. It used to be a population of about 2,000 people, I think. But now there's 31 people that live in Wayne. Uh, it is also, there are 11 bridges between the highway from Drumheller and the hamlet of Wayne. It's pretty cool. They are single lane bridges, so only one lane of traffic. So you go, if you see cars coming, you wait, let them pass, and then you go. There you can't, there's not two-way traffic on the bridge. So that's pretty neat. Right now we're just past Wayne. We went to the Last Chance Saloon and uh, just looked around. And they have a little store there and they have some campsites. And we just went past it and onto the last two bridges, because the last two bridges are past the saloon. And now we're going up a hill. Um, looks like there's some kind of antiques or something at the top here, and then we'll turn around and go back towards Drumheller. Down into Wayne from the opposite direction of Drumheller. And we're gonna cross the 11 bridges. <laughs> little place on the highway um, in, just to Drumheller, between Drumheller and Wayne and uh, it's got ice cream, it's got some burgers, cash only, looks pretty cool. We have had dinner and now we're walking to the big dinosaur and we're going to climb it. You excited? Yes. So the world's largest dinosaur is quite close to our campground. It's about a six minute walk. You just go down the street across this bridge and then because they don't have a crosswalk here, you have to go through an underpass to get to the other side of the street. So that adds a little bit of time, but all in all, 
It's less than a 10 minute walk. There's a bit of it that kind of sticks up right there. So there's the world's biggest dinosaur. And then there's a splash park right behind these trees. And that orange building is the Aquaplex. Here's the dinosaur. There's the splash park. We're gonna climb up there. Okay, we made it. We're in the mouth. Can you see? You can come up on the stairs and you can look right over the. That's the Red Deer River, I think. Hi, people! They can't hear you. Hi, people! All the way. There you go. Now, crank it. That's our campsite back there. And this is the playground. So we've packed up our campsite. It is now Sunday and we are gonna head back home but on the way we thought we'd check out a couple of things a little bit early it's only 11 so we are at uh, the hoodoos in the Badlands which are these really cool rock formations um, that are really old and basically over time water eroded these rock formations to do these crazy shapes so we're, it kind of looks like a surface of the moon or something so if the moon had hoodoos which I guess it doesn't it looks it looks very different from anything else that you generally see. Let's go check it out. So basically there's a metal walkway and staircases that you can take to go up and get up close to the hoodoos. So once you get up a certain um, distance, then the metal walkway ends and you're allowed to actually climb on this part. So this is the part that reminds me of the surface of the moon. Oh, 
So some people are going all the way up there. Mike and Astrid are went part of the way. Thank you. 